Hey guys, Alex from Online Terror with a new pick a card. And today we are going to learn what your future holds. So what's going to happen with you a week from now? And uh, this is a general reading. It doesn't cover all possible options, just the three groups of people I'm connecting with today. If it doesn't resonate with you, maybe you can check my other videos. If it does, fantastic. I'd love if you hit the like button, subscribe, stay tuned for more. Let me know in the comments what you think. And if you are in need of a private reading, the information is down below in the description box. And um, move into today's video. We have three piles, pile number one, pile number two, and pile number three. And uh, I chose similar stones for you uh, to use your intuition more not just the colors or numbers so for pile number one we have the moonstone okay for pile number two we have the white quartz for pile number three we have turquoise a turquoise egg so Choose the pile and you will find the uh, time frames down below in the description box or in the comments or maybe everywhere. So I'll, I'm going to start with the pile number one. So for those who chose the moonstone, a week from now, whoa, we have the high priestess and two tens. A Ten of Swords and a Ten of Pentacles. And there is definitely the completion of something is going on. I'm seeing that you are leaving something behind. And I'm really drawn to those white rats. It's like someone's asking you what's happening, what's going on. But I think you're leaving with no explanations. Some of you might be leaving your home. And it's like you're leaving something not very positive behind like look at his gesture like i don't want anything um i don't want to hear anything about it anymore i don't want to deal with it anymore like uh i'm tired of this situation so i'm gone and with this high priestess see she's stepping on the moon it's like you are getting some insight you are getting some information that's opening your eyes wide open and it's like and you go like i knew it i knew it so there's something you're not seeing right now but you will be seeing a week from now and this is this might come to you in a dream or uh just in an insight in an instant insight I'm getting instant insights is something that that you will realize maybe another person will say a word uh use some kind of word or a phrase and you will like okay that's it it's like this situation has been coming for a long time but next week it will be like snap i'm gone i'm out and this is concerning mostly your family okay let's see what else can we get about the those who chose pawn number one? The emperor. A father figure. Yeah, probably a father figure or a mother figure and a father figure. Cards are not gender specific, guys. Cards and messages, they're not gender specific. It's like... For some of you, probably you are leaving your parents' house. It's like your uh, dad is looking one way, your mom is looking the other way, and it's like, and you're like, I'm out because something is falling apart. For others, it's like you feel like you are not in control of a situation, and there's some money calling you. You're following the money. You're following the money with this Knight of Pentacles. And this situation has been long time coming. Uh, maybe somebody is telling you like uh, that you are not making enough, and you are following the money. And it's strange, but for some of you, it seems like this emperor. While this emperor is looking away, you are like, I'm out. It's like you are not even explaining yourself you're not even staying you know, like you might be even sneaking out 
or it might be from your home your job something you're leaving something behind but it's something negative negative that came um, came to an end that completed this cycle it's an ending and with this knight of pentacles you see it's like the sun this pentacle is like the sun and it's like uh, hanging in the air so y you are probably following some kind of a dream that you didn't dare to follow before I was getting a lot of vibes like this for uh, for August people following their dreams nine of pentacles in reverse yes this this definitely concerning uh, money you are not being financially stable you've been depending on somebody either it's your uh, parents or your um, boss with this nine of pentacles in reverse you've been not valued enough and you've been not stable not making enough and okay i'm gone nine of pentacles and nine of wands and uh, i'm getting that there has been a lot of efforts made to make it work but it didn't and now the justice is coming the justice is coming for you it's like you see like um you justify your living because you've been trying uh for those for whom it's a job situation you've been working maybe working long hours maybe uh you've been in showing initiative uh you've been motivated you've been doing and doing and doing and you've been not getting paid enough and like okay that's fine like uh I worth much more and I'm gonna find a better offer right uh, for those for whom it's a family situation uh, I think they've been telling you that well you are in my house you will follow my rules something like this and uh, it's like you're not supporting yourself and money was an issue and now you're living and it was an issue for a while and uh, you've tried to talk it out but uh, you couldn't come to an agreement and now you're out because like you are tired you are done okay you're out again yeah, sorry and uh, one more so so you're going you are leaving the situation behind though you don't have a plan yet And you are not sure, you don't, you don't know what to do with your life yet, you don't have a plan for your future, so you not, um, didn't think it through. And with this um, King of Pentacles, you are sitting there and um, questioning your worth, your abilities, your um, image of yourself. interesting okay give me a second i want to clarify this knight of cups four of swords so for some of you the situation ends with you coming back and with the like this outburst is going to help you heal the situation it's either you coming back and apologizing for losing your temper or this person is reaching out to you like this emperor person or someone with whom you've been dealing they're reaching out to you and the situation with this four of swords is being healed and okay, let's draw one more card here for these four of swords and the knight of cups four of swords again the synchronicities have they starting to come up much more often well there is definitely healing i'm getting that you are coming to some kind of a conclusion you're coming to some kind of agreement with this uh person or people due to this outburst due to this situation well i hope that this situation will uh help you in the future and um please come back and tell me if it resonated if it happened for you it would be very interesting okay
thanks guys and uh, I'm moving to the pile number two for those who chose white quartz let's see what you have a week from now you guys you are going through some inner conflict we have the hermit the moon and five of wands it's like you're full of doubts you're full of doubts you're wondering you're searching for answers inside with this hermit mode and you're shutting yourself away from the world and um, trying to think and trying to fight uh, but you're fighting with yourself you're fighting with yourself and you're fighting with them um, for some of you it's illusions for others it's uh, not having enough information something left unseen something secretive uh, might be you you know some kind of secret that's driving you crazy uh, because you cannot reveal it and you cannot continue to keep it um, inside uh, for others it's um, some self-doubt you might have done something or you want to do something and you cannot decide you are being very very um, indecisive and it's the period of thinking of going deep for some of you it's facing yourself and um, some issues that you've been postponing to deal with for a while that's interesting today's reading is a very deep and psychological some of you will like it some of you won't but I hope that those who are supposed to receive the message will receive this message. So we have the Nine of Swords, the Queen of Wands, and the King of Pentacles. That's interesting. So, guys, whoever you are, either you are this Queen or a King, there is uh, some relationship that uh, that is either already unraveling or is about to happen and you are anxious about this relationship because something is not right there so it might be a secret relationship you might uh, be contemplating whether you should get into this uh, because maybe your partner is married your love interest is married or maybe uh, there is some other reason why this relationship must be hidden but it's a secret relationship and you are really really thinking whether you need to whether you should to continue it or get into it or not uh, for those of you who are ladies this may be um, an older male someone financially stable someone who has had your uh, their eyes on you for a long while and you've been kind of um i'm i'm too good for this and but something about them is uh kind of attracting you is attracting you and you're really really starting to go crazy they're not giving up they're pursuing you and uh you are starting to give in for for you guys well it can be uh, otherwise it can be for um any sex but I'm getting that mostly it's for women hmm. so you're questioning yourself with this relationship have king of swords the hierophant you're questioning yourself you're questioning your values so um, I'm getting it's a question of your beliefs it's a question of your values and you are being very uh, with this hermit and the moon you're trying to understand what's more important for you this connection or your values it's about family uh, for most of you it's you are dealing with the married person or someone you can't marry and you're trying to decide or, or, I don't know for, for what kind of reason maybe there uh, there is a significant age gap or they have some um uh, they might have a uh, very high social position and for one or the other reason they can't marry you or they even can't even tell anyone you are dating and uh so i'm getting there are two possible scenarios here first of you 
you are falling for someone who is married second group is uh, is not able to marry this person and you are trying to weigh what's more important for you the possibility of getting married because you've dreamed about it you've wanted it and uh, or this person that's an entangled situation what else can we get about this? Any advice? Pile number two. Page of Wands. Wow, Ace of Wands. Eight of Swords. So you are very passionate about them. You are very passionate. I think the viewer is very passionate about the other person, whoever you are. And uh, I think you're going to go with your passion though you you don't see you don't see the way out it's not the way out you don't see the um the balanced way out the healthy way out well the the way out that you'd like to see you don't see it you don't see the possibility of uh, marrying this person but you are so passionate about them that you're going to go with it so you are facing a dilemma guys a week from now well that's free will no judgment here it's up to you to decide what's more important for you and uh, but there is so much passion that you can't stop yourself okay thanks for watching uh, if it resonated i'd appreciate it if you let me know in the comments uh that it does uh and I'm hoping to see you soon with my other videos. And we are moving to the pile number three. The different order. Wow. Pile number three for those who chose the turquoise is, is wow. So a week from now, you are getting your dream person. We have the stars, the king of cups, and six of wands. It's like the person you've been dreaming about. Maybe it's a no communication situation and you didn't see them or didn't talk to them for a while and you've been dreaming about them and um, you've been dreaming them to, to love you and bam, they're here. You see, with the star card, it's the wish come true and someone who loves you dearly. Uh, it's an unconditional love. It's a cup full of love. They're coming. They're coming your way. And like the winner, they're coming. Um, how to say? They're trying to impress you. Well, you're. I'm getting. You are going to be impressed either way because this is someone um, either well known, having a high position, uh, well known in their field, in their area of business, something like this. Or it's just someone. Who is like a dream come true for you? It's like a dream person coming your way. Wow. With an offer. Page of Pentacles with an offer. <laughs> what I was saying. The Empress. Oh my God. Wow, you guys. And Ace of Wands. Wow. This is just wow. So the person is coming to you. You've been dreaming or waiting for them to show up for for a very long time. You've been like howling on the moon, asking where is he or where is she, why, why, why it's not he or she is not reaching out or so on. And uh, with this empress, you, you have a lot of love for them as well. You are very loving, very caring. You wanted to take care of them. You want to tend to them. For some of you, you already have kids with them others you would like to have kids with them but there is an option um, without kids of course but it's just that they bring up the feeling of tenderness within you you really really want to take care of them and to be with them and with this ace of wands and the six of wands there is a burning desire there's passion like it's the most passionate card in the deck. It's like they're passionate about you and physically and emotionally. And there is love, deep love and very hot passion. So, what else? What else can we get? Queen of Pentacles. So, 
two of wands the world so when this person is showing up you're kind of on the crossroads six of cups also wanted to show up you you definitely know this person so for some of you you do have kids with them or for others it's your first love college love for uh, high school sweetheart or the connection from the past of someone you you feel very connected to and like you are thinking like i've been sitting and waiting there for so long i've uh i have a life now okay and it's great in fantasies but how is it going to unfold in the real life how i don't know there are doubts here and you you, you don't know what to choose but either way i think that most of you are going to choose this connection because it's beautiful and it's very powerful and, and uh uh, no matter what you choose, you are ending the cycle. So either uh, you are getting some closure with this person or you are getting a second chance. A second chance, a reconciliation. Can we get anything else? Any advice for those who chose pile number three? Because if you need any... Two of Cups. Definitely. I think that most of you are choosing this connection because it's like your second half. Six of Wands in reverse. Queen of Swords. And the Magician. So, some of you will choose this person. Some of you won't. But... For some reason, you feel like this choice is making you powerless. You, some of you can't think straight, can't think clearly. Because there is a lot of nostalgia there and you're thinking back, you're looking back. The memories are flooding and um, you're thinking what to do to cut him or her out of your life completely or to accept this person back but either way you are chose you're choosing yourself you're choosing yourself with this uh, magician card it's like most of you with this queen of pentacles and the magician you've made a life for yourself you've been working on yourself you've been manifesting you've been um doing a lot of work on it can be different since it's a group reading uh so there's something to think about. So you're thinking between the connection and yourself, connection or yourself, connection or yourself. What, what do you choose? What do you choose? So can we get, can we get the resolution, how the situation is going to be resolved? Three of cups. Nine of Cups. So, you guys do, do split in two groups. This group number three. You've been... When... Most of you, you know this person. And you've been feeling very lonely when they left you. Or you left them when you separated. For those who... Meeting a new person. You, you were tired of being alone. You started to feel lonely. But at the same time, with this Queen of Wands, you you have a lot of passion within you. You want to enjoy life. You want, uh, like, you have this sparkle. You have this joy. And with this Nine of Cups, well, I'm getting two. But you need, with the Three of Cups, most of you are choosing joy. So whatever you choose, you kind of choose yourself anyway. So it depends on what happiness is for you right now because you may be dreaming about this person but sometimes the dreams and reality they, they, they do not um coexist they do not align right and when it comes true it's not like you've imagined so whatever you're choosing you are choosing yourself and you're choosing joy of life so uh with this nine of cups it can be a card of a singlehood 
and you are choosing like I'm happy single you're realizing I'm happy single and this is a closure for you and you're like thanks but I'm kind of good and uh, for others you're saying great yeah and there is some joy happening for you and you're um, accepting this person with your open arms and this is a wish come true for you so either way it's very very good positive reading because you are choosing your joy and your happiness so thanks for watching hope you enjoyed this one uh, and I'll be happy to see you on my next videos okay have a lovely day bye